Hi everyone, this is a short video on how to enable TensorBoard on Kubeflow. Kubeflow is a nice uh, uh, toolkit where it uh, helps and scales the machine learning uh, programs from uh, modeling to till deployment. It has all the infrastructure built together and which runs on Kubernetes. So when I started, I know I felt interesting and I deployed it by following the steps here on this page. And after I done, we, uh, we have a nice uh, dashboard here. Uh, and the, I'm pretty much uh, using this uh, notebook server, defining whatever the servers uh, with the appropriate GPUs and all. So one thing that is missing is in a traditional uh, uh, way, in the TensorFlow way, so we feel uh, TensorBoard is more uh, uh, usable, which gives the visual information of uh, what our model and parameters are doing to the end output. Uh, it has, so when I connect to this Jupyter Notebook, I don't see uh, a straightforward link to the TensorBoard. It has a catib here the catib catib but i am not much using right now it may be helpful or are are really more uh, exploratory or uh, uh, it gives more uh, information than the tensor board i don't know right now so but what i feel is tensor board is more usable at my current situation so i was thinking how can i uh, enable or link a tensor board into the current uh, notebook at the Jupyter on the Kubeflow. So when I am searching over this and finding ways, I found like two ways to do that. One is the simple way, which is the last one is to run the tensor board from the Jupyter and do a port forward to the pod. Uh, and the, the clean and the, which I like is to deploy a tensor board as a different service and then expose it by uh, doing a reverse proxy mapping. So at the end, it looks like something like this. See here we have the base host name that when we uh, deploy on a node, it comes like this. So this is the actual host name that is listening on the port 80 for all our dashboards, Kubeflow dashboard here. Maybe. So I added a one more context path here, like a like tensor board and which maps to the tensor board deployment that is one uh, thing one way of doing the other way is what we do i will show you the uh, maybe the simple one first let's go how we can do it by option option two here the running tensor from jupiter and do it port forward so for that we will go to is Jupyter Notebook. This is a sample program here, nothing fancy. And we have these two commands like load tensor plugin, and then we are calling the tensor board executable by passing the log directory and also the host name. So, here the host name here, the 00, zero is uh, very important, else uh, we won't be able to. Uh, get the tensor board portal because it will listen only to the uh, particular net uh, interfaces something like that so let's run this one and then the below so now it is running and it is listening on default port 6006 so now we have uh, started the tensor board uh, the next step is to do a port forward to that port. So if you go into the Kubernetes portal, normally it will be under under the namespace of. Uh, so one thing to note here is it runs on the on the notebook server pod. So whoever creates with the namespace right so that pod will be running the jupyter notebook and and and, and it is where 
this particular uh, tensor board is running. For that, in my case, admin is the namespace. So I will go to parts, and this is my part. Hands on ML is my notebook, and that is the part. So I click that one, go back to this one. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, so the command here is port forward. Again, the important piece here is the address 0000. zero, zero, zero. So that we are saying to accept all the host name, not just the local host or everything like. So this is a port forward, listen to all the host and this is the pod with the admin namespace and I'm giving here as 8080 as the uh, listening port from, uh, from external and uh, it will be forwarding to the tensor board uh, port. So now it is active and it is listening. Now let's go here. So now you can see it has successfully forwarded from 8080 of the particular node to the particular pod. You can see I have one more here with the tensor for context path which is the other method of doing it. So it is pretty clean way of doing it. We do not need to uh, dig into any ports and also we need not run on any commands on the Jupyter notebook and it runs always. It will be running uh, as a normal pod or normal deployment and you can access the tensor board anytime. But this is little bit you know you have to run keep running this keep running this one you no know, uh, or else it will not uh, uh, accept any requests so that's the limitation so let's now see the first step what i did to make <coughs> this clean way of doing how to enable the tensor board. The first thing is we need to go to a let me explain the Kubernetes uh, dashboard. I created with admin namespace and the deployment. I deployed uh, with uh, one deployment called tensor board and if you go inside it and see here I am using the image TensorFlow TensorFlow and so TensorFlow comes with a tensor board right so executable so we can use that tensor board executable from this image and we are clearly telling that the command is run the tensor board and host is and again once again it's an important uh, piece and one more important piece is the path prefix so here we are saying that we will be having a context path as tensor board slash tensor board after our host name. So these two are important pieces. Let me remind you very important uh, host and the tensor board in our command uh, definition of this particular deployment. And one <coughs> other part is we will have one um, volume mount, a common or a shared volume mount so that every uh, execution of the notebooks will have those logs in the same location and will, will be shared across. Uh, once that is done, let us go to uh, the service definition. One more service definition is called tensor board. Let us go here in it. and if I click on this YAML. Here we have a ambassador config saying that a mapping definition, some name, and again the prefix is tensor board. That is when we are clicking on this 43xip0 slash tensor float, and we are passing the same prefix as tensor board to the tensor board executable. And that's the reason we mentioned a prefix there as well. 
on the command prompt and we have a service we are calling the tensorbot admin listening at 6006 default port and this is the get ambassador configuration and and last we have the port both the target and the port as 606 in and out so that these are the two things that we need to enable the tensor board so right here now we can access tensor board on two ways let me turn this off now this port forwarding will not work since we stop the tensor board and this will be avail sorry this will be available every time this is a, as this is a normal as a deployment hope this uh, gives some information on how to enable this tensor board on kubeflow thanks bye